hello to the Argyle Cellos. Um, hope you're all really keeping well and it's sad that we can't all meet um, and I have no idea how long it will be till we all get together. So Tim and I came up with this idea of working on a piece for over this period, hopefully all practicing away in our little rooms, using this all this time to do some practice and keep it all ticking over. Um, so we thought the Janacek suite could be a good piece to work on and then we'd aim to perform it in the Christmas concert. So uh, my idea was to give you some tips and hints about technique and musicality and direction. Um, obviously I'm no cellist, cello expert so please if you disagree or you think I don't know what I'm talking about you're probably correct. Um, I'm just going to give you some ideas and you take what you like from it. Please do give me feedback uh, if there's anything you don't understand or if you liked it and enjoyed it because uh, I'm obviously putting this out and I have no idea whether it's helpful or whether it's been completely useless. So do, do give me some feedback if you feel that you want to. Um, so I'm going to talk to you just about the first page of the Janacek Suite. Uh, I won't go in such detail for the rest of the pages, but I thought this is really important. It sets up the whole piece, introduces it to the audience. And I think once you've got in your mind exactly what Janacek wants from this first movement, then we can go forward a little faster. So at the very start, we all start in unison, the whole orchestra. Um, and it's these dramatic big chords with, and I've got them doing retakes. Uh, so big, big chords retaking. Um, and you notice the accent is actually on the minim. So the little note drives and drives onto the minim each time. So something like this, hopefully. So you notice that uh, the nice big retakes. I was quite heavy at the heel. I've been trying to get the first and seconds and the violas to be really heavy arms, lots of vibrato. And um, with this heaviness, though, we must have soggy hands. I presume that's the same on the cello. Uh, soggy hands to kind of, as a suspension system, really. So you're not, if you're tight, you'll get at the heel. Whereas if you're nice and soggy with a nice heavy arm for weight, then you can really make a big resonance. And I love a big bass sound at the beginning here. You also might notice that bar three, I've tinkered with the dynamics. Um, you know what I'm like about dynamics. So uh, I've actually, I don't want you to be very much quieter. The first and second stop doing this theme. You carry this theme on. So it's the heavy big theme um, of these big notes at the beginning. I want you to carry that through. So don't back off, I think. Do the diminuendo and then you can come back in with uh, a, loud, a loud entry. Um, now in bar six, we have some awkward bowing. So I've tried it various which ways and I think the very best one is the one I've suggested. If you hate it, uh, especially John, if you hate it, just throw it out. Um, but I thought it's the best way. So what I've got suggested is <laughs> And you just need to do a little stop and then you do a little bow again at the point and go back on an up bow. So it's an awkward little figure. And I think if you practice it slowly like that several times, you might be able to then do the whole passage, which is. Just like that. OK, um, the. Bar eight, the last minim, again, this is quite important if this helps, this will help your bowing, is not a retake. So the last minim, so from the beginning of the bar eight. And then in bar 11, you notice we have fortissimo to pianissimo. So hit that note, big vibrato, and then come right away. Really important. And watch out for the rich there, obviously. Um, then we have a, again, the same thing as before, a little up, down bow before the up bow. Um, very soft. And I think you'll find after the stormy beginning, 
your part suddenly becomes much more lyrical. Um, so that's an example at the end there. Don't don't smash that out. Don't worry about it too much. I think it's lyrical. Be beautiful. And maybe come away on that last note. So you hardly play it and just a bit of vibrato. Um, and if you're worried about tuning, come away almost before the note. Um, and then we've got the same sort of lyricism coming up in bar uh, 18. Then a return of the theme. So 19, bar 19 at the end, you've got this shorter version of the beginning. So I would hit those nice and hard. And then... at the end and then subsequent bar I was going to tuck it in and then it just felt all a bit I didn't like the way it didn't but it bowed out so actually I've decided it's best to bow it out if you don't if you prefer again John if you prefer that just take the ignore me uh, but I just felt it was more flow and then definitely hook the dotted uh, rhythm at the end of that bar and then lastly really bar 20 four five six seven bar 27 you have the most lyrical phrase of all it's absolutely beautiful um it's ever so easy to play on the violin <laughs> i imagine that's pretty damn high on the on the cello um so if i give you the pitching and i think really light beautiful bows and really flowing and again very, very lyrical vibrato and just touch your cello and let it sing um and i've actually that was your first phrase the second phrase, I've bowed it the same. I've looked extensively at what other orchestras have done and that's what they've done. And I like the up bow finish because then you don't hit the last note of the next phrase. Um, so I think, yeah, just keeping it really gentle. And I think by not changing the bow, it's more legato. So that was bar 29. And then uh, 31. And that's nice and soft. So um, I hope that helps you with the first page and gives you some hints and just the stylistic feel of the of the whole piece. And um, I will be coming back hopefully with more pages if you're finding it useful and you want more. Uh, it would be nice to keep keep the Argyle practicing away hopefully in their homes and uh, working towards something where we can finally come together again. Much love. <laughs>